overlapping communities. Oh, I'm not going to, you've seen this sort of thing. This is kind of crazy, right? So, how am I doing for time? So this is an important movement um, beyond what we've had before. This is again, this is a science, this is a nature paper, 2005. I mean, these things are landing in, you know, the big spots. Um, so they, they want communities to be purely distinct, right? That's, that's clearly what's going on. You can certainly have um, hierarchical communities, but even there, it's always, you know, you're in this mod module or not, right? I mean, you, you can't be part of both. But that's a natural generalization. Now nodes can be part of multiple communities. And the stuff that I just flipped, flipped through is from our earlier work saying, absolutely, that's what humans are like, of course. You know, we, we have these affiliations in, in different places. Um, so, yes, right. So they, they are gonna do a completely different thing. They can say a community is just basically, um, adjacent k cliques, right? So they have to have nodes that have to have k minus one friends, right? So you have a, um, a clique of, which means, so a clique of size seven, so you've got seven nodes, they're all connected to each other, and then you could just sort of move across one so that they, and you have another a seven clique, but they, um, there's, there's one node that, they share six nodes, right? So you can imagine communities being this sort of blob. So they're very well connected things, potentially. How to choose K, that's always a problem with these things. I mean, what does it mean? But you could say, let's, you know, let's look at all the... So let's take our network and then throw away everything that isn't a three-clique, right, which is triangles. Like just remove all the little edge pieces and say that's really a substantive thing. So now they're going to have the number of communities a node belongs to, the number of nodes shared between two given communities, right, because they, they can overlap, uh, now you can have communities that are connected to each other, so you're going to have a degree for them. They've written it as a D, so it's, average, it's a degree. Uh, and then community size. Right. And you have distributions, they're complementary cumulative distributions using the notation from their, um, from their thing. So this is, you know, so now you can have a mathematician, for example, who might be sort of really a physicist and a mathematician. They're all scientists. Um, this is like zooming out this way, right? This is from the hmm. family's got funny balloon animals on it for some reason. This is like entertaining your children. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, it's just weird. Um, I mean, this is completely natural and reasonable. Yes. Balloon animal question. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, so when we're looking at collaborator networks, like, is some of the problem with community detection because we're saying, well, put a pin between these people and the collaborators, but really there's oh, like a paper edge of 10 people on that paper. Yeah. And if you just started with that. And then you'd be, I don't know, maybe. I don't know if people have done that. I mean, I say that because there are so many papers <laughs> that, um, <laughs> It like terrifies me at this point to try and think of something new. But maybe, maybe, right? I mean, maybe. I mean, because what early on with a lot of social network stuff, we, we had graph theorists involved, right, in the 50s and 60s, and I think military, all sorts of stuff. And then eventually it became sort of this big physicist type thing. It was a different sort of approach. But, um, you know, they rediscovered a bunch of stuff, of course, right, because it's what they do. Better notation. Um, <laughs> they, and I'm talking about, like, rediscovering things in, from computer science as well. I mean, it's just part of it because th these things weren't actually spread out um, and, and, and communicated to other groups. So uh, I don't know, maybe, 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 but maybe not at all. Maybe that would be the best thing in the world. I don't know. Um, think about it, yeah. There is the, you know, that review paper that I pointed to is now back at, oof, Oh, don't die. Oh, I see, because that was ridiculous. Um, I 
Oh, I didn't open the optimized one. That's the problem. Yeah, so this is 2010. That's true. That's getting a bit long in the tooth. Uh, <laughs> We could look to see what else people have done. Um, oh yeah, I mean, this is the idea, right? Overlapping communities. It's craziness. Makes sense. Uh, these are k equals four, right? So cliques of size four. So, right, so that's a, there's one here, right? This is a clique of size four. These four are connected. And then these four nodes, they share three nodes together. That doesn't look like a clique. Of oh no, I guess I'm looking. Yeah, it's this one, right? This this one. That's that's a clique there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's a clique. So because it's a, you know these four and then these four, if you they 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 miss this one node as you move across to here, so they're part of a community. There's also this one, that's adjacent to one of them we've already been to. So. Blob, k click, k click, k click. And then you find that you know, this k click you've created over here, you've got some nodes that are part of both of those pieces. Of protein y things? I mean, I know they absolutely use all of this stuff for protein interaction networks. I'm not sure about, you, you mean a protein it itself. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all the interaction networks, absolutely, yeah. I mean, they use, and I don't know which ones will work better or worse, but, um, you know, this is different to what we had before, so it, it may be utterly necessary to use this kind of approach, right, because the other ones, said you have to have separate teams, and that's probably not, certainly not going to be true in biology, right? Lots of reuse of things, and yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, all sorts of uh, biological networks have been really, you know, fruitful kind of areas to study, like metabolic pathway networks, which is a different thing again, but then there's the protein, protein interaction, gene, gene, you know, all of those interaction things. Um, they're hard, yeah. This is, so, wow. Let's look at them. We're, we're going to run out of time. But this is, uh, uh, these are, these are uh, word association type things. So one is <laughs> uh, co-authorship network for Parisi. Um, so just people around him. This is a protein, this is a protein. Well, when we, I'm always a little, what are we actually doing with this protein one? So this is... Um, protein protein interactions for this one. That's what gives you that one. It's not how you read comics, right? Down. Okay, so this is a uh, word association, right? So association. So that's a uh, different business. But then, you know, you've got these overlapping communities here. And so that's, you know, an example. But then, Really, in a way, it was like, we, this should work, okay, this should work. So, I'll come back to that, um, but I just want to say that the next piece is actually from Bagro, um, YYR, and Sunil Lehman, this is 2010. Same kind of idea with the you know, overlapping things, but they worked, um, they looked at links. They looked at links, so they focused on links. And links are usually great things, um, but they did something that was quite hard, which was to get to... This idea that you know, nodes can have flavors, right? That, that links can, yeah. But your connection between two nodes might be because you, know, you play basketball, right? That's it. That sort of thing we talk about a lot. But that nodes have this you know, uh, many splendid sort of uh, flavor that's structured to their uh, their identity. So kind of move away from that and then think about the links. Maybe you'll do better. So I'll talk about that one again, and, and then the others. It's just one more here that I want to go through. But a vast world, if you want to add something to it, absolutely. You can be a total hero. But um, I'll have to do some uh, searching around for us to make sure this is going to